Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And uh, panel, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to be here. Uh, small business guy myself, and uh, certainly recognize uh, your appreciation that small business is the number one job creator in this country and probably one of the keys to being able to lead us out of this recession. Uh, uh, if I could, uh, Ms. John, you had stated uh, in your opening statement, and I would heard this, that the administration wanted to be able to double exports in the uh, last five years, over the next five years. How is that going? Well, we are certainly working as hard as we can to, uh, Where do we sit now? to uh, do our part, but I would uh, defer to my colleague on the actual data there. Last year, exports grew at 17 percent over a year ago. Uh, a doubling of export is a 15 percent compounded annual growth rate year over year. Mm -hmm. This year, in the first seven months, exports are tracking at 17 percent. Given the fact that over 19 months we are tracking at 17 percent, that is above our goal, but that is why we always like to call it a beginning. Right. Whether you look at macro level or at micro level, um, the trend is, is um, quite heartening. Besides the 17 percent, exports were at 1.83 trillion last year, the second highest, and exports as a percentage of GDP went up from 11.2 to 12.5. That is at the macro level. Uh, at the micro level, we physically were able to touch 18,000 SMEs. Mm -hmm. We of them, uh, no, 18,000 companies of them, 16,000 SMEs. And we were able to post uh, significant increases in export success. Again, our approach was to divide and conquer, to leverage our combined resources. The U.S. and FCS focused on taking newer companies, uh, existing exporters to newer markets. We succeeded in 4,700 such cases, 12,300 export successes. So whichever form we look at it, whether we look at it in physically facilitated exports and what it did over a year ago or at the macro level, we are tracking uh, well onto our goal. Good. Um, you know, I guess I am curious because part of the problem is when we are dealing with small businesses, as you note, uh, you don't have some of the sophistication in the marketplace. Are all of the forms, all of the applications, are those available and deliverable online? Um, Export.gov is the single web portal which we would like every business to be directed to. And what we have done on that portal and continue to improve the portal is have the Trade Information Center intercede so that any inquiry from any one of your constituent companies is directed to the right, um, uh, right agency. I understand the direction, but I mean in terms of filling out forms, are those available online? Yes, it is. All, uh, all, all forms are available? Not all. Most forms through the client intake system, right. the right forms would are, be made. Are you available. working to get them all online? Yes, sir. You are. What is your time of completion on that? Export.gov is an interagency stuff. Most of the forms which small business entities require are already online. And um, I cannot give you a finite time, but it should not be more than six months or so when every form would be there. Okay. Great. And I may be following up a little bit on uh, Congresswoman Velasquez's question there, uh, if I was interpreting it correctly, but the return on investment that we are having uh, for the cost of what you do uh, versus the yield from a benchmark. Do you have any idea what that is? I, I don't have the benchmark idea, but what we do is track the, the value of exports, export successes. On a year-over-year -year basis, what would you say? Uh, given some of the statistics that you just gave me earlier. It is, it is tracking upwards. I did uh, mention in my testimony that the return on investment Today stands for every dollar invested in the service coming at, at 135, and I do know it's significantly higher than what it was in the previous year. Okay, I think that'll be probably something, because uh, you know, as Congressman Mulvaney was pointing out, it sounds like we do have some duplication going on, and uh, I think it's probably in all of our interests right now to see where we can merge those components uh, to be able to work the most efficiently to be able to achieve that common goal of uh, being able to export more at the most efficient costs that we, we can certainly have. So thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I yield back.